The problem being considered in the scientific investigation is: Does salt have an effect on the freezing point of water? The scientists decided on this particular question because they were interested to know at what point the ocean might freeze to enable ice skating. After reviewing the background information and research available and talking with our teachers, we developed our hypothesis. The hypothesis formed is as follows: If salt water reaches negative twenty degrees Celsius, then the salt water will freeze. Because the salt makes the water denser and harder to freeze than fresh water. The purpose of this experimental design is to gather data to support or disprove the hypothesis. This is a detailed listing of the materials used, including water, salt, and an instant read thermometer. All materials were gathered prior to the inception of the experimental period. The following sequential procedure was used to complete the experimental phase. The temperature and condition of the water was collected and recorded in degrees Celsius each half hour. This proposed experiment setup was modified for our experiment as we could obtain only one instant thermometer. The identified independent variable in our experiment was the salt water. Fresh water acted as the control. The dependent variable was the measurement of temperature. The scientists feel our experimental design is a fair test, as the salt was the only variable changed. But Here is the actual experiment set up in the freezer. After the first hour, both waters were cooler. The fresh water temperature was recorded first. The thermometer wiped and inserted directly into the bottom of the salt water before reading and recording. Also, pictorial evidence was collected. The above data tables show the temperatures of fresh water and salt water recorded in degrees Celsius taken at half-hour intervals. Also, condition of the water was noted using this key. Data collection began and was recorded every half hour and continued until freezing of one of the samples. By hour eight, the fresh water was frozen solid at zero degrees Celsius. The salt water remained slushy even though the temperature was negative eight point eight degrees Celsius. The above graph shows the gradual cooling from room temperature through freezing of the fresh water at zero degrees Celsius. The salt water developed colder temperatures than the fresh water without freezing. After reviewing the data collected during the experimental period, the data revealed the fresh water sample froze at zero degrees Celsius, but the salt water sample did not freeze completely despite registering. Temperatures of negative eight point eight degrees Celsius. The scientists feel if the freezer had been able to generate a temperature to negative twenty degrees Celsius, the salt water would have frozen completely too. The data did not support the hypothesis, as the freezer temperature could not get to negative twenty degrees Celsius, even though the temperature of the salt water is colder. It did not freeze, as its density requires a lower freezing point. More research is suggested. The information used in this experiment could be used in real life. You would be certain not to go ice skating or attempt ice fishing on the ocean unless the seawater was negative twenty degrees Celsius and frozen solid. References for this project include NOAA, NASA, and Scholastic. The bibliography was done by bibme.org. Thank you, Mrs. Liu, for being our timekeeper. Mr. and Mrs. Cattro for keeping us fed, and technical support from Andrew Liu. Also, Mr. Orozco for staying with us so we could record this photo story. But most of all, thank you for the support and generosity of Ms. Amora as a constant reference and guide through this process.